Why'd they, why'd they put the tortoises so far up here? We gotta, we gotta run all the way up here to get this damn thing. God, those, those walls are really, really imposing, man. But I don't know how we're gonna get this, but, uh, whew, it's gonna be exhausted by the time we get up here. Man, how'd they even get up that close? I don't, I don't know, man. Apparently they, like, somehow, like, snuck him up there in the middle of the night. But, um, but yeah, we're, they're up there and now we're up, up here, but... Man, I know. But, God, why so far up? Jeez, man. All right, okay, we're here. Damn, look at these walls. Holy crap. This thing's gonna get through those? Yeah, I, I guess so, but, I mean, I guess we're gonna find out soon, eh? All right, let's just, let's just not die, okay? Well, that is my terrible, terrible, like, acting uh, on display there. But hello, everyone. Ellington here. And we have got ourselves another awesome battle to go here. This is actually, I believe it was on a stream of mine a couple months ago. Um, we have a 4v4 on Alexandria. Uh, on defense, we've got myself as Galatia. Bowie Eye is being commanded by Armored Scarab. Egypt is being commanded by King Serdan. And finally, Iceni being commanded by Titty Rond. Now, for the attackers, we've got Epirus being commanded by Royal Athenian. Gete being commanded by uh, Fight Me. Then Aravaki being commanded by Titus. And finally, uh, Massilia being commanded by Iron Fist. So, as you can see, we've got a, a lot of troops rushing to their siege equipment, as you heard from my terrible, terrible intro there. I'm so sorry I'll never do it again. And <laughs> got a bunch of tortoises coming up here. Basically, what happened, Massilia has um, Gallic Hunters, and they use their... Oh, those are Celtic Slingers, but they have Gallic Hunters, and they use those Gallic Hunters to guerrilla deploy their siege equipment closer to the towers. And as you can see, or to the walls, excuse me. And as you can see, they are now rushing forward to get onto those equipment. Um, Ervaki had a siege grip, or a uh, ballista there that is now gone because it was left unprotected. So we won't have to deal with that now. But as you can see, it looks like Massilia and Ervaki are going to be making this approach here and maybe a little bit into this as well while Gete and Epirus will be approaching into this side. Um, we do have, I personally think this is a really strong combination here, Galatia and Bowie Eye next to each other in a defense. That's pretty nasty. That's a lot of really good infantry, especially against like Gete and Epirus. But Epirus, I think, brought like a gazillion royal pelters or some shit like that. I thought they had a bunch of Royal Peltas somewhere or something. Like I said, this is a while ago, so I, I probably just misremembering. Mis but yeah, so you can see we've got some troops coming out here. A group of Glacian Swords and Celtic Warriors um, that are sallying out on some Illyrian Levies and Mercenary Italian Swords. And then right over here, Bowie Eye has got some Celtic Warriors and Levy Freeman going up against some Militia Hoplites and Illyrian Levies. They should be able to do pretty well there. Now, here, Massilia has actually brought one of his tortoises over here to get into that wall and has gotten in through this wall as well. But Egypt, as you can see, is defending this one pretty well. Although, Massilia doesn't have a whole lot coming in quite yet. Some painted ones from Iceni going in now. Nothing quite coming in on this side. And I don't know if I said, but we are on the settlement of Alexandria. Um, I believe on this stream I was told I needed to keep a unit back to guard the Lighthouse of Alexandria. So you can see I do have a Galatian sword keeping my word and protecting the entrance to the um, one of the wonders of the world. Ancient wonders of the world, I guess I should say. Uh, Levy Freeman, bunch of Galatian legionaries... They have another artillery. Okay, Ervaki's got a giant ballista. Oh no, that is his crew, but Gete's got one. So when Gete's out of ammo, Ervaki will be able to put his crew onto this uh, ballista. So they will have some pretty good ballista fire coming in on us. Once again, just be really being an, a, a pest and 
uh, being really annoying here, just keeping them from basically being able to either get into the set settlement or use their other tortoise here, you know, just really being annoying. I mean, you can ask a lot of people. I think that's something I'm pretty well versed in, you know? Huh? 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 Uh, I thought it was funny. All right, Thorax Swords getting their butts kicked here by some Galatian Legionaries. Um, looks like there was a Egyptian unit here that just got annihilated. Looks like maybe Galatian Swords. But obviously we are using the Ancient Empires mod, so... It, it really makes the units just look fantastic. That's a good shot right there. Got some more carrying or got some carrying axemen moving forward. Carrying axemen are kind of like thorough spears. So they'll be able to set up here and throw their jabbies exactly where Egypt wants to. And then on this side, it looks like um, you know Arabaki and Masili are kind of just. Deciding to take a break from attacking that angle, um, which actually is kind of smart because even though they may not realize it, Iceni's entire army is over here, and while he would be able to cycle in stuff to, and filter into that location, he's not in a very good spot to assist anywhere else. So by them leaving that spot, they don't—they may not realize it, but they're actually kind of hampering our defense quite a bit by doing that. Got some Celtic Slingers moving up on the wall. Um, we have no way to do anything about it. You can see the uh, Colosseum here just got destroyed. It looks like it did catch a couple units, but we got lucky. Nothing too bad on that one. And if you don't know, you can shoot this with your artillery. And if there's anything too close to it, when this collapses, it'll actually kill um, a lot of the units near it. Here we go, some Massilian Hoplites and some, and some Scutari. Scutari are going to be the ones that are really dangerous here. Massilian Hoplites are a good Hoplite unit, but not always the greatest for attacking. I'm wondering if it's a mod that's causing some of this little jerkiness here. I, I might need to look into that and, and test it because it, it shouldn't be doing this little, like, lagginess. Um, it, it is also an old game, so that could be why. Some pikemen here. And over this way, got Galatian Swords and um, Celtic Warriors. But look at this. That was a Noble Sword already in from Gete. Then over here, you can see some Scutari. Got Massilian Thorough Spears. Look at that. Just a disgusting volley of... Oh, my God. The arrows and the... Jeez, and the freaking Javis. Man. More Thorough Spear, Massilian Thorough Spears specifically which are slightly better than standard Thoreau Spears. Yeah, once again, like, by Aravaki and Massilian not attacking this direction, it, it, it's really neutralizing a lot of this. They're all in bad spots right now. You can see Iceni moved a lot of his troops to the center so that they would be closer to support other directions. Got a lot of Galatian Legionaries here ready to defend. Bowie Eye kind of setting up in this main courtyard here. Got some Levy Freemen defending against. I think those are the Noble Swords again. 80 kills on those Noble Swords already. Javi's coming in from the Sword Followers. You can see Massilian Thorough Spears from the wall are actually able to reach the Sword Follower unit. That's a nasty little shot right there. He's really lucky he didn't lose troops in that. Uh, he might have lost a couple, but not too many. They have a look at this breach, dude. Look at this breach. The wall doesn't even exist anymore. Jeez, man. It's gonna cost a lot to repair, okay? 93 kills on Galatian Legionaries. They've been, they, they have been replaced by Carrion Axemen. I think they were getting a little tired. Carrion Axemen, 38 kills. Massilian Hoplites at 53. Oh, that's a respectable amount right there. They got Scutari. The Scutari look awesome. Another Massilian Hoplite moving in. Once again, nothing attacking on this direction here. I see he does have some troops over this way that he is beginning to loop around. The reason for that is this right here. We see the um, Epirus pikemen sitting there all by their lonesome. 
We also have some light cavalry, some chariots, stuff like that. I actually have some dogs, too. I think that's uh, Titty Ron who brought those. Back at the point, got some most sworn. The issue with this area here is it's pretty cramped. So we just don't have a whole lot of room to set up stuff over here. Especially when we've got, I, you know, the ballistas looking right at us. Ooh, look at this. Syrian archers actually getting into some of those archers right over there. Um, they do have quite a bit, though. They've got a lot of Dacian heavy bows and uh, three mercenary Cretan archers. And then the Gallic hunters from Massilia, too. I almost forgot about them, which you can see right there that they're flags. Celtic Slinger up there on the wall is actually alive still, but I don't think it's going to be for very long. Two kills. That's rough. Yeah, look at this. Nubian bows, Britain slingers all going in that. Glacier Legionaries up to 144 kills, but they are out going up against some Iberian swords. Got a Scutari that I think is trying... Well, never mind. I thought he was trying to loop around, but he's just facing that direction. You know what I mean? Now, Massilian Hoplite going in. The other one broke at 81 kills. Not too shabby at all. Got some Galatian Legionaries and some uh, sword followers going up against a depleted Noble Sword, 219 kills. Mercenary Axe Warriors at 123. And backed up by quite a bit of Thorax Swords, uh, Massilian Thorough Spears, another Noble Sword. So Gete is just, hey, get our elites in now, you know. He's already got two Noble Swords that are committing, one that's pretty depleted now, 79 men left. But quite a bit of kills, 230. And then one at 158 with 49 kills. They are not going this direction. I think that's a good idea. I think it would just go bad for them. You can see the pike over here from Epirus is pretty much gone. You know, it's it's depleted. It's going to be finished off. But you can see the royal peltists of Epirus coming over to eliminate the ambushers from Mycenae. Got some Javis going. Let's see this. No Javis from the Royal Peltis, I guess. Maybe they just decided don't waste the ammo. But look at this. Look at this. The other Ambusher unit coming in and surrounding the Epirus General. He may not get it, but this is going to allow him to get more kills on them. But he's going to turn around and counter the other Royal Peltis now. They see heavy bows coming over to support just in case. 68 kills on the Royal Peltis now. And now the Ambushers going into the other Royal Peltis. Look at that Royal Peltis skyrocket. 24, 33. Oh, and look at nice, nice return, Javi. Turn back around. javi the back of the Royal Peltis General. Royal Peltis General has now lost uh, 42 men, 43. Losing quite a bit of men out of this, actually. You can see the Ambushers are not going to last very long. But you know what? They took out a pike and severely injured a Royal Peltis General. I, I would say that was that was well worth it. Archer fight now between the Cretans and myself. And I believe... Yeah, so Bowie is now going to put Slingers up onto this wall because he could look right over at the archers. Look at that angle, guys. That is gorgeous. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Thorough Spears back here. 39 kills. Very nice. Glacian Legionary, 211. Skitari at 64. 52 on the Massilian Hoplites. Over this direction, same thing. The uh, attackers are refusing to go this direction. I think that's a smart move for them. They don't need to. Why expand that? You know, it's, it's a bad place to attack. Basically, you look at this place. And everywhere you come in, you are just swarmed from all directions. If you come in from this way, you just get pinned into this little corner. Just not a great place, not a great... And then there's the tower support, of course. As you can see, the Galatian Legionary is gone. So there really is just this carrying axeman protecting this direction. And now from this side, some Galatian swords protecting this direction. We have to protect this side because if we lose that side, we cannot continue to hold this. See, a couple Galatian Legionaries come in to attack this side here while Bowie continues to 
to hold that center uh, line here. Sword followers, 60 kills. What about the Noble Swords? 121. Now it's 289 with 21 men left. And another Noble Sword with 122 men. Or wait, is that? Okay, never mind, never mind. That's just this one that went this way. Never mind. Now, Thorax Swords, Italian Swords, Galatians Legionaries at 92 and 41. Same thing, they are refusing to come into this because once again, it's a kill zone, it's a trap. It's a trap! Anybody name the movie, come on. Come on, you guys should be used to this by now. 132 on the Noble Swords, 292, man. Galatian Swords now coming in this way because the Carrion Axemen are starting to um, waver. 108 kills, pretty nice, pretty good on the Carrions. Look at these Thoros Spears, 61 kills, they still had ammunition. Skitari at 77, Galatian Swords at 30. Got quite a bit of Britain Slingers and uh, Nubian Bows over here, I believe. There was another, well, yeah, so there's another archer unit here that was um, is gone now. Oh, and looks like maybe a. Uh, not even sure. Those are those look like Scutari shields there. I don't know what happened. This um, oh wait, so painted winds ones have gone in now, supporting the sword followers. They're getting a little low. Look at this shot. Bowie eyes, Celtic bowmen shooting right into the side and flank of those noble swords. That's a nice shot. Something we need to be wary of, of course, is a counter archer push from Epirus and Gete. Gete's archers are very, very far back, though. So, not as big of a worry there, but we do still have the three Cretans here from Epirus. Still a lot of troops left for us. You see, the dogs actually came out. The light horses, or light cavalry, is coming out for Egypt. Still have the chariots from Mycenae back here. Not exactly sure where the light cavalry is going or where the dogs are going. I think the dogs, they probably, he, he probably just realized that there was nothing there. Um, archers all the way over here. By the fact that they weren't attacking this, archers probably should have been brought closer. Um, we probably could use those right now. That was probably a little bit of a mistake on our part. Glacier Leecher, 76 kills. Sword Followers, 57. 227 on Noble Swords, and the other one had to have break, broken 300. Sam Knight Warriors in now. Another Noble Sword. 137 on the Mercenary Axe Warriors. Very, very well done there. It continued here from Bowie Eye, and I believe myself as well, shooting into the flanks of those Noble Swords. That is our, our best bet. We've got to kill them. With the money difference between attacker and, and defender, the defenders can't afford as many elites as what the attackers can afford. So the defenders, you maybe get two or three, usually. The attackers can sometimes get five, you know, depending on how they build their armies. And Hippias Lancers, I think, just coming over this way to counter the light cavalry from Egypt here. Got a lot of stuff still sitting here. 78 kills on my ballista. It's all right. Usually, you probably want to get a little better than that. And then Galatian Sword and Galatian Legionary now switching out. Sword Follower coming forward because we are getting a little thin in this spot here. We just have Galatian Swords and a depleted Sword Follower and a, a decent health Galatian Legionary left in this area. So... And then, okay, here's another short follower. So good, we are we are getting some reinforcements in towards where we need them. Because of this massive breach here, it does make it a lot easier for the attackers to cycle in their units when they need them and keep a supported front going. So um, pretty good idea getting rid of all of that. Now, Sam Knight Warriors coming in. Noble Swords, 104 kills, 52 on the Massilian Thorough Spears. Now, the sword followers... Are gonna, they, they're doing pretty well. Glacier Legionaries 108. Same thing over here. Nothing really attacking. There's not really an opportunity to push that direction. Now, Massilian Hoplites are just, they, they're here. They say, well, you want to grind? Let's grind. So they're going to try and grind their way through this. Nubian bows are out of ammo, apparently. 
You got Massillion Thorough Spears, 114 kills. Now you got artillery coming in. I don't know if you heard that a little bit of a clang. Um, artillery has been bombarding this area for a while now. That's why, like, this guy, 153 left in it. I believe that is Gete's. Well, Gete may be out. Yeah, I mean, you can see uh, Aravaki has moved forward to get ready to get on that. There's also a Noble Sword back here. I'm guessing just, like, just on the off chance that we try to sneak something in there, I'm guessing. Iberian Slingers now setting up. Here's the Gallic Hunters from uh, from Massilia. Bunch of Skitari. Another Iberian Slinger up here. I think there's another Gallic Hunter in here. But I think he was shooting at the Cretan Archers and he's... Uh, Egypt realized, oh shit, I gotta get out of there. You can see I'm moving up another Galatian Legionary. Basically what's happening is we, we there was an opening there, but we were defending this. So what we're trying to do now is basically kind of like that it is what we're trying for. So you can see a uh, chosen sword band is going to go into that. Another chosen sword band moving forward. And that's kind of weird, all of this like weird you know, jerkiness in the replay here. Noble Sword's 209. Another fresh fucking Noble Sword, dude. God, he has so many Noble Swords. They see in heavy bows are up here. Now, this is a little bit of an issue. Iberian Slingers up here on the wall. Two of them, um, one on each side, and they are definitely going to have range on all of this, man. And then here, they're probably going to be able to shoot right into that. Yeah, those Noble Swords were a pain in the bootay, man. Basically, I mean, it's not a bad idea. Glacia doesn't really have a, a high-tier unit, so if you can just bring straight up more high-tiers than they can, that's a good strat. Sword followers, they're doing all right. This one's 106, uh, about half health. Uh, but man, it's just those noble swords. It's a, it's even though how good sword followers are, noble swords are literally just a class of higher than than what sword followers are. You know, sword followers are that typical mid-tier heavy infantry, while a noble sword is up with your like royal peltis and and glacier royal guard and silver shield swordsman, all that kind of stuff. But look at this line, man. We gotta get some of this. Gotta get some of that. Those noble swords look awesome. I think the slingers are getting off the wall. I think they started getting shot, which is obviously not what you want to see. Chosen sword band should do okay against Scutari. But I will tell you, if you didn't know, Scutari are some of the best infantry for how cheap they are. I think they're 620 if I remember correctly and can definitely go toe to toe with things far like higher than them. So Scutari at 620 can take on a, a Thorax Sword which is 710. You know, stuff like that. Scutari are just very, very good. Celtic Bowman up on the walls now. Look at this, going after archers. Gotta be careful though. Here's to the Dacian Heavy Bows moving forward. They do have like a slightly better angle than the Dacian Heavy Bows, but enough firepower from that angle will still kill them. Then a pretty good angle here. Still got the archers over here shooting this way, but also got a Glacian Legionary columned up to shoot into it. Look at this, Royal Pelta from Epirus is now in combat. Oh, whoo, thought we had a little bit of an issue there, but looks like I seen he plugged the gap just in time Another Noble Sword coming in. I think he's got five, man. It's nuts. Glacian Legionary holding this area here against the Royal Peltis, but you can see Dacian Heavy Bow uh, ammo coming in as well as our own. But look at this, Slingers looking right down over. Hold on. Let's see if we can get this. Uh, it's going to keep doing that, isn't it? Just looking right over the battlefield. But I think what was happening, I think he was starting to get shot in the back. Yeah, 
Yep, yep, yep. 61 kills on the Celtic bows. Not too shabby at all. You got, you can see Thorax Swords attacking here. Glacian Legionaries throwing into the flank of the Massilian Hoplites. Thorax Swords using, uh, oh man, that artillery hit. You see that? You see the Thorax Swords are using um, formation attack. There's probably something you want to get rid of. Makes them stay in their formation like that, which means that like most of the unit doesn't do anything. But you can see we've we've lost this area here. We're ending up having to fall back to this and kind of like this here. Um, Bowie Eye does still have a sword follower left, but it is surrounded and probably not going to last very long. So we are trying to draw the unit further in. You can see the Royal Pelt is chasing my Galatian Legionary. And then coming up behind him, some Thoreau Spears from Epirus. But now a hard push of the Noble Swords just going right into the second defense here. Glacian Swordman falling. Oh, man. Nice arty hit. Who is that? Is that Aravaki now? I think it is. Six oh, look at the kills. 69 kills now. <laughs> Royal Peltus is pretty banged up. 92 kills, 66. Um, still left in it. But, I mean, Royal Peltus really, really don't like arrows. And I think that's what was happening. There was a lot of arrows. So many arrows. I hated it. That artillery is just rough to deal with, man. Skitari and Massilian Hoplite. Skitari are, like, fresh, man. Cillian Thorough Spears, 160 kills. Thorax Swords, 137. Noble Swords, 163. You can see Gete is now cycling over his Noble Swords to assist in getting through here. 243 kills with 86 men left in it. All right, the push over here. Looks like mostly my Galatian Legionaries defending against the kind of a lot of kind of a hodgepodge of things moving in here. Sam Knight Warriors, Thorough Spear. Sam Knight Warriors, 141. Nice. I think Bowie Eye at this point has used a lot of his stuff. I think he really just has his O-Sworn back here. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. He's got a couple Celtic bows back there. But he, he defended a lot up here in front. Sam Knight is gone, so it's down to just a Thorough Spear. But Scutari moving forward to continue assisting and pushing this. Still having to hold units to keep this breach protected. Slingers and stuff trying to get shots in. But we, there we go. There we go, Justin. I was about to say, we need to really change our shots to over here into the Dacian Heavy Bows. And right as I was going to say it, they started. we started doing it. So, uh, Noble Sword, 150 men moving in. I feel like this whole game has just been... Noble Sword, Noble Sword, Noble Sword, Noble Sword. Look at the carnage, guys. Jeez, man. Just a carpet of dead bodies here. 194, Chosen Sword Band holding them back. And I think what we're doing here, I think we're killing a bit of, or forming a bit of a kill, a kill box. The talk, you know. Sometimes I have aneurysms of sheer stupidity. It's okay. I think I just had an aneurysm of sheer stupidity. Wow, Vegeta. Didn't know you were so stupid. If anybody can name that, well done. Yeah, I mean, look at this. Just Katari, Noble Swords. You can see they are pushing in here. Mercenary Italian Swords. And they actually dropped something onto the tower that is now jumping off of the wall into the flank of the Galatian Legionaries. But a big push, Blush Hoplites, throw Spears, Italian Swords. More Galatian Swords and, and an O-Sword moving forward. O-Sword from Bowie, I think, is coming up to help counter out the uh, Noble Swords. The Italian Swords got off the wall and are, like, immediately wavering. So, well done. Noble Swords now falling back. Great Archers are now in. It looks like they're shooting, I think, over at the Britain Slingers here. Yep. Britain Slingers getting shots into the side there, the Scutari. 
15 kills. Yeah, the Cretan, he, he needs to be careful because those Cretans are about to make him have a very bad day. Very, very bad day. Uh-oh, so Thorax Sword broke. Egypt needs to push back in there and keep that locked down. Got a nice CD Chosen Sword band continuing to hold this. Noble Sword Sword, 300 kills now. Don't be surprised if the title of this video has something to do with Noble Swords. And you can probably, like, tell why. You can't really blame me. Oh, this guy's lost a lot. I think he got hit by artillery. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but, man, he lost quite a bit. 86 kills on this one. That Italian sword came back, which I'm not sure how, considering another Glacian Legionary is in here. This noble sword here, doing pretty good. Here's the O sword, and I think, well, maybe not. I thought he was going to go in there, which he probably should. Cretan archers here, 34 kills, 36 kills. I think he's coming out to try and get a shots into this. All right, Massilian Hoplites. Jesus Christ, another fucking noble sword, dude. Like, like, seriously? Like, I, I don't, jeez, man. We usually play on 13500 funds, which does allow you to get a couple more elites. You know, that's one of the reasons we do it. It's, it's between large funds and ultra funds. But man, good lord, like, I don't, I don't remember, I do remember in the battle when we did it going, geez, he has so many nobles, oh, this is bad, this is really bad, and there's nothing there, oh, there's nothing there, Egypt needs to adjust something, oh man, we got so lucky, look at that, the noble sword broke, just at the same time as the Chosen Sword uh, broke. But the, oh, we got so lucky. No, the Thorax Sword can get around. Oh, look at this, this Katarium now broke. Whoo, boy. That was a little, like, because that would have allowed a gap to come through the side, allowing them to get into our archers, get into this, continue down here, get around here. Like, oh, that could have been really bad. Like, like, seriously. Okay, this is the one that I just saw earlier, but still. Like, it's just, it's just, it's just fucking dumb, man. I'm sorry, excuse my language, but good lord. The Yosorn here should make pretty short work of the, the depleted Royal Peltis and the Skatari. Especially you got the, the Galatian Legionary kind of hitting in the flank here. Another, we brought some reinforcements into this to kind of ensure that it was plugged because the Sam Knight Warrior is probably not getting through that. I don't remember, I thought they only had two Royal Peltas. I'm not sure where this one was. Thorough Spears probably honestly just protecting this to make sure no cab tries to get around. Speaking of cavalry, got the uh, light cab coming out. Where did the dogs go? There's the doggies. Come on, doggy, doggy. That's a dog, man. Look at that thing. No, thank you. I love dogs, but I, I might scream like a little girl if that some bitch was running at me, trying to kill me. Yeah, Yost One's doing a good, good job of shoring that up. More artillery coming in. 145 on it. Got sword band. Oh, look at that. Nice. Look at that angle. Right into the side there at the noble swords. Then you got a new, that fresh one behind it. Now over here, we were able to re-push into the gap here. Thorax swords going up against some silly hoplites. The thorax swords are pretty depleted though, so we need to be careful of that. Watch it. He does have another one that can pretty quickly get into that spot. But here, this is this is not good. This is actually really, really bad. I'm not sure where the ban okay, the banner is weirdly over here. There we go. Bowie IO Sworn moving forward. 
And then a Chosen Sword ban for Mycenae coming back, coming up. The dog units standing here. Let's go! Warriors, move up! 119, 54 kills on my archers. I don't know. There we go. And 74 on the last one. Oh. I, I don't know how this fucking thing still has him. I, I, I'm re doing really bad today of just saying naughty words. I am really sorry, guys. I'm usually pretty good at it. Like, I don't really care personally, but, like, I try to keep it to the minimum, like, just because I don't, I don't like unnecessary stuff. But, man, like, good lord. Oh, look at this sneaky, sneaky. Tiny, tiny little unit of thorax sword sneaking by, getting into the Britain Slingers. So we need to get something over to plug that. But look at this. Look at this. I see any chariots. Are we going to come in clutch here? Let's see this. Come on. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Come on. I don't know where they're going. Where are you going? No. Run away. Run. Flee. Flee for your lives. Yeah, I think he just didn't get a good, like, charge into that and realized it's like, you know, just pull him back before we lose him. Oswar now 180 kills. Now this, this is, this is really bad. This is really, really bad, guys. Oh, this is really bad. Got Royal Peltus moving forward to try and plug this, as well as, okay, two Royal Peltus from Egypt, and then Carrying Axeman General. But look at this, Nobosaur General from, oh gosh. Very, very bad. This whole thing has collapsed. Got a no sword that's kind of by itself defending. Pikes moving forward from Egypt. Get hit in the back here by I, by the uh, Blerix on those ones. Moving in to try and plug the, the breach here of the Royal Peltis. So I, I'll just be honest, the, the defense is crumbling right now. Um, this is a huge issue. Um, and then this is going to be like it, you could see it's just Neosworn 222 Glacial Legionary 97 But then you've got a fresh ro uh, Royal Peltus coming in through here. It is getting shot by quite a bit of archers, but um, That's not good. That's not good for us. Sam Knight Warriors in here as well. The Royal Peltus going around Oh, no Getting into the back throwing the Glacial Legionary just to try and stop it so that the Osworn can try and continue to defend this. Over here, the Osworn over here is just completely surrounded. And there's nothing. So if I, I believe we are just defending here and defending here. Just not great. That is not what we wanted. I think we've talked I think I've said in previous, you know, um, videos, the more room you give for the attackers to get in the more flexibility that they have. So if you can keep them pinned into as small of a place as possible, you can typically get a lot better use out of that because you keep them, you know, closed into one tiny little spot. They can't continue to support themselves. Yeah, the Oathsworn is now gone. So you got the Nova Fighter getting around 95 kills on it. Legion Legionaries 127. Royal Pelt is in 91, but pretty hurt. 51 men left. The Royal Pelt is general has 127 kills. I believe this is the point that we decide, hey, you know, we, we need to just get out. We just need to get out of this. Um, so I believe I'm throwing in archers to just slow them down, you know. And so we're getting in our archers to slow down the units so we can actually get our... Um, infantry and stuff out. The dogs have gone in to battle. I believe trying to get into the archers on them. The Royal or the Osworn here still alive, man. 
71, he's dying, but man, he's, he is getting some kills before he goes. You got Royal Peltis hanging in here. One of them's pretty beat up. Not sure what happened to it, but it, it's, it's pretty beat up at this point. Carrying Axeman, I think, getting up so they can throw Javis down. That's Gutari here, Massilian Hoplites. Chosen Sword Band holding back a fucking Noble Sword. Noble Fighter now from Aravaki coming in. Coming in to finish. This is the final blow for the Osworn, I think. Pike's getting shot by the Cretan Archers. I think we changed our mind and actually decided to throw back in here. I think we decided we felt we could take on the Royal Peltis and finish Epirus off. I love the Royal Peltis sh uh, shields in this mod. Yeah, I think that was really our decision. We said, you know what? No, we can finish this off. And if we can finish off Epirus, maybe we can wrap in here. Got Noble Horse General here as well. Ooh, look, cause look at this. Look at this. Right, right. Oh yeah, I remember this. Perfect little gap right into the Cretan Archers. And not only the Cretan Archers, the Balearics of Aravaki and the Dacian Heavy Bows. Aravaki realizes what's going on. He says, shit, run away. Run, run, run away. All right, so my Noble Horse Jin is trying to get rid of all of this. He says, Cretan Archers, Kelt or Dacian Heavy Bows. But coming in through the gap is a Scutari, a relatively healthy one. And so I made the decision, you know what? We're not gonna lose our gin here, let's pull out. But look at this, look at this. Light Cavalry coming in through the gap into the Iberian and Balearic Slingers from Aravaki. This could be a backbreaker for the attackers. This could be huge. Noble Horse General trying to get out of there charging out here but look at this I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna come out the gap or maybe not no I'm not going in for the kill on the Cretans and our infantry is free to come in through here now on the other side they are not advancing right now we've got chosen sword band moving forward over here though is not looking great for us we got one royal peltus left hero noble I think uh, I, apparently he's not gonna go in I guess um, looks like at least uh, maybe just run away from the Gallic Hunters Noble Cav Noble Horse General for me moving out because look at this that massive breach is now our best friend getting into the Balearic Slingers now Noble Horse Gen 210 kills Light Cavalry is gone now pulling out instead of losing multiple spears and a lot of infantry coming in rather than lose my general I'm just gonna get him out of that 236 kills on him oh no look at this though look at this all right so get pushing through this and pushing into the final defense of Iceni and Egypt a couple pikes from Egypt and a chosen sword band Egypt's general is pretty much trapped at this point. Heroic Noble's gonna get charged by the Hippias land. Oh, that was a great charge. And the Archer Fire coming in. Hippias Lancer just got a lot of kills right there. Oh, geez, 89 men left in the Heroic Noble. We still own the gate. I can't really get through here. Well, I think what was happening, I couldn't go through this breach. So I ended up having to go through the gate all the way back over here. Got a couple archers and stuff coming in. The O Sworn has moved forward. 239 kills. Going up against some Scutari and a noble fighter. Got dogs in the combat as well. But as you can see, the defense is just collapsing. Heroic Noble's 55 kills. Where'd the uh, Hippias Lancer go? Did the uh, Hippias Lancer die? Yeah, I guess the Hippias Lancer just got wrecked, man. Jeez. But you can see, I mean, Balance of Power is massively in their favor. 
This is just a huge issue. Same thing over here. We got pikes still, but I believe they still have archer ammo. My general is still alive, 56 men. I think I was thinking, hey, you know what? Maybe we can get some, get a charge into some of this. 237 kills. This pike, if they're out of ammo, this pike will be very useful. But um, I, I don't think they are. Get a charge in here to the Noble Swords. Not a great charge. There was kind of a fleeing unit here that really messed that up. Got a couple kills there. It's like probably about nine. Oathsworn General of uh, Armored and is coming off this direction as well. Man, it would be great if he still had ammo in that. He has a Celtic bow with no with no kills, so maybe he'll get some kills off that. Another one up here. And as you can see, Iceni and Egypt have all kind of come back this way. Iceni still getting some nice shots with the Britain Slingers into the Noble Fighters. It's a good target. Very good target. I'm just bringing my general back this way. There's no real good targets to go after. The man... Uh, it's it's looking pretty pretty rough. They it is a lot of archers though. I will say that they have a lot of archers and slingers left. Um, I don't know how many kills they or like how much ammo they all have, it, but I'm gonna bet these slingers at least have quite a bit. And the archers do too. See, they're still shooting, still shooting at the pikes here. There's another pike off to the other side, which is good because the well shit. Never mind. Gallic Hunters are also over there, so. Slinger's doing a nice job of just kind of kiting off and just shooting at them. I, they should probably try and shoot at... Uh, Gallic Hunters just went invisible. Scratch everything I was about to say. And Noble Horse is very tired. 249 kills. Noble Swords, 162, 162, 245 on another Noble Sword. They seen heavy bows look like they still have quite a bit of ammo. Or probably not quite a bit, at least half. Um, maybe a little less than that. Uh, but look at this. The slingers have so much. Pikes are just going to disintegrate, man. Yeah, look at their numbers just drop. Nine kills, 12 kills. Oh, Jesus. Both the noble swords and noble fighters, 150, 160. Oh, but here we go. I know that the archer's over here. Oh, turn around. No, go back. Go back. Turn around. Turn around, please. Uh, like, I'm pretty sure we can't know. I'm pretty sure we knew that the Gallic Hunters were right over there. I think maybe I was hoping to turn around and get into the Iberia. I don't know. And now the pike's completely gone. It's down to the chosen, the tiny, tiny little chosen sword band to hold off this noble sword and then the next noble sword and then the noble fighters and the archers and all the other crap that they still have left. Britain Slingers must be out of ammo. 201 kills. Nice and done. Oh, I really hope he's shooting. Oh, yes, he is. Nice, nice. I seen he. Oh, that was good. 192 on those noble fighters, though. That's just very, very painful. The pike is in a just not great position. He really got shot to pieces, you can see. Britain Slingers, I think, probably going to try and slow it down. Come on, just fight him. Oh, that's just a dick move. Come on. Aravaki, like you have a massive unit versus Oathsworn. Just go fight him, jerk. And Slinger shooting at the Celtic bows. <laughs> Kapui. Quickly now. Forward. All right, look what we see. We see the, the uh, Gallic Hunters, and we see a gap right down behind the back of the Pikes. Pikes just have to hold the Massilian Hoplite steady. Just a little bit longer. Oh yes, just in time. Oh yeah, look at that. And the Gallic Hunters are completely 
exposed. Let's be honest, guys. We know the battle's over. You know it's over. I know it's over. But I see kills. They got some kills on me before they go. But look at this. Right into them. There's nothing stopping me. 285. No, there's nothing else to see, guys. I'm sorry. But this is this is it. The Osworn General is dying. 246 over there. My cavalry trying to push through and get through the other uh, the, the other archer. One of them is gone. Cavalry 332. Let's see if we get the next one. And then after that, we'll move on to the last. The battle's over, but this general is going to go out with as many kills as he can. I think when I... This is Iron Fist, I believe. I believe he was trying to get them onto the the building here. Poor Massilian Hoplite just <laughs> chasing me along. Yeah, he ends up getting up, so you know what? We'll go after the last one. Oh, damn. What the hell? All right, so he... Well, maybe he does. I don't know. Yeah, I was like, I thought he got it on, so... He gets up onto the building, so we're going to come finish the other off. At this point, it's it's game over, but 370. Get to a more expand. I was too columned up, so I tried to expand out a little bit, get a better charge. Galak Hunter's 188 kills. Very well done. And now, what do you guys think? Can we get the last Gallic Hunter? I think we get the last Gallic Hunter. I'm a, I'm a cab. This is just a hoplite. So what are we going to try and do? He says there, up there, I'm going to juke him. I'm going to come this way. And as he adjusts, I'm going to go right back the other direction. Look at that. Now, does he? Ah, uh, and he sees it. He catches it just in time. Let's see. Can we do it one more? No. We are going to get caught and noble horse broken and that is the game a great game i remember this was a lot of fun to relive a little bit later after it was played it was a lot of fun all right let's look at some kills so first off for myself as galatia with 2100 kills archers these guys could have done much better my general with 403 kills though infantry all did really really well um this guy not great Titty Ronda, as I seen you with 1,961 kills. Slingers did fantastic. Some of his infantry did pretty good. Some of it not so great. Um, Chariot ended with 111. Um, but yeah. Then we have King Caradon, Saradin with 1,712. Archers, look at that. Very, very well done. His light cavalry did pretty good. Um, Thorax did pretty solid. His pikes just got to shot to live in hell. And Royal Peltas, I think that's the same thing that happened to them. Then finally, Armored Scarab, Scarab as Bowie Eye with 2,091 kills. His Osworn doing very, very well. His Sword Followers doing very well as well. As well, 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 well. And then his Celtic Bows. These guys, unfortunately, were left a little late, I think. Um, and then 101 and 92. Then for the attackers, we have Titus as Aravaki with 1,753 kills. Noble Fighters all did pretty well. This one probably could have done a little better, but I think that's the one they got shot. And then all of his uh, slingers... Um, wait. There, the fuck? How does he have his army? Okay, so he's got two slingers. That, that is the weirdest army setup I've ever seen. So two Balerics is still out of ammo, and the Iberians are pretty sure still out of ammo. And then Skitari, I think, like, they did not perform the greatest, but, I mean, it's Skitari. They don't have the greatest armor. We got Royal Athenian and Azeparis with 2,421 kills. Archers probably could have done a little better. Really well done in the Italian Swords. 202 on the, Sk or on the uh, Sam Knights. And then this Royal Peltus did really well. Um, Iron Fist with 2,178 kills. Um, did really well. The thorax did pretty solid. His uh, thorough spears did pretty good. Then hoplites 224, 147. And then finally, fight me. Look at this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight noble swords. Eight guys. Eight. And only two of them did not break 
200 kills. That's painful. Very, very painful. 200 on his Ballista and 163 on his Axe Warriors. Well, that is going to be it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for joining for this epic replay. This one was a lot of fun to relive. I really hope you guys enjoyed joining me for this. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And please leave a comment down below. I love to see them, and I do try to respond to them as much as possible. Thank you guys so much. We will see you guys next time.